Hello and welcome to Quark Express 8 and Adobe Creative Suite integration. Now, for a long time, Quark Express users have worked alongside applications like Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator to complete their page layout designs. And it's never been easier to do that than it is with Quark Express 8 because we've greatly increased the level of integration that we have with these applications. So in the past, when you were working with, for example, TIFFs and EPS graphics, now you can work directly with the native file formats like PSD for Photoshop and AI for Illustrator. Also, now that Quark Express works with across media, we can look at things like Adobe Flash. So let's take a look at this page layout of a magazine that I'm working on. And you'll see a box right there that I want to bring an image into. I could bring in a TIFF, but what I have here is a PSD, a Photoshop file. And the reason I want to use a Photoshop file rather than a TIFF in this case is because of all the layers that are in this image that I might want to use differently. Now, I've just expanded the view there of the PSD import palette. You'll see it looks a lot like the one that you're used to working with in Photoshop. And it has access to the layers so I can do various controls. So you'll see someone really went to town on this image, including a lot of layers, a lot of real, uh, special treatments. So what I'd like to do is go ahead and maybe they don't work on this page, so I'd like to change them. For example, the text Alaska doesn't fit in with the rest of the design, so I can turn it on and off and, t and see how it looks. Do I like it or not? In the end, I've decided I don't like it, so I'll leave that turned off. And that's a text layer, but you'll see there's also just a regular graphics layer, the clouds layer, which I didn't like. I turned that off. Here we have an adjustment layer. Now, not all adjustment layers are supported in Quark Express for this kind of control, but the majority of them are. So I turned off that adjustment layer, and you'll see the color balance has now gone back to blue. Now, I went ahead and turned clouds back on because I like it, but maybe it's a bit too strong. Now, only Quark Express has the ability to actually change the transparency of that layer rather than just turning it on and off. And even more, I can get in to the various different kinds of blend modes and try see what a linear dodge looks like. That works for me, certainly better than it did initially. So that's the look that I'm going to choose for this, for this particular instance of the graphic. Now, this is non-destructive. So if I use this graphic somewhere else, I can leave it red, I can leave the text on, I can do whatever I want, and it won't affect the original graphic, but it will output like this. Now, I just mentioned that not all kinds of adjustment layers are supported in Quark Express, although certainly the most important ones are. But what happens if you do use a layer such as that, or if you use an effects layer like satin or glow? Well, let's see. Well, the good news is the image will import just fine, and it will export just fine. And there are workarounds that you can do to get those controls that you need. What happens is, let me show you, I have another image here where I've brought, which I want to bring in. Very similar, but this one has some layer effects in it. So it says this image contains layers with effects that are not supported by PSD import, and it will use the composite image instead. So you'll see it comes in, prints fine, all of that stuff. The only problem is I now don't have control of all of my layers, right? Just the composite is used. So how am I going to get rid of that nasty cowboy Alaska text? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over to the image in question, and once I've selected it, I'm going to edit it in Photoshop. So I'll just double click on it and that will bring up the edit original dialog. And here I am in Adobe Photoshop. Now down in the corner is the layers palette and you'll see an effects layer is being used. Now if I right click on that I can choose to convert that to a smart object. Now we can bring in smart objects no problem and the good news is you can then uh, you haven't destroyed any of those effects because if you double click on that smart object you get access to an area where you can control the uh, layer effects, the outer glow that you would put on. So when I save that in now, uh, it looks the same and I still have the same controls available to me in Photoshop, but when I update it, now I have access to the various layer controls right inside Quark Express, so I can go in and take out the Alaska text, the color balance, and the various things that I may or may not want to use. So I mentioned that Quark Express 8 is unique among page layout applications in having those specific controls for transparency and blending modes, but there's another area which is around channels. Now, in this document, I've used a varnish ink, so uh, kind of a glossy um, surface that I've added on to various flat colors in the document. But what about if I want to use it on an image as well to make it say, for example, that that eagle has a shiny varnish over him? That has been quite difficult to do in the past. How do I apply that varnish ink inside a photograph? Well, the beauty is, because Quark Express 8 supports channels in Photoshop documents, I created the channel in Photoshop, which you'll see is the bottom one here in this palette. It's called spot one right now. It's nothing in particular. But what I can do is use the same varnish color 
from my Quark Express colors palette and apply that to the spot channel inside the Photoshop. Now I'll just give it a, a semi-transparent look and a kind of a garish color so I can see where it is. And I'll go over to the to the, the palette there and turn it on. Now that's how it appears on my screen, but in fact what it will print out as that transparent, shiny surface over the top of just that eagle. So that's the level of really effortless uh, integration with, with Adobe Photoshop to free your creativity.